Hi, my name is Finley. I'm part of a new online learning tool at the Cordian District Museum. What we want to do over the next little while is help school groups and others, people that want to learn, keep connected with the Cordian District Museum. We used to have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of students come here. But now the students' classes have been canceled for a while. So I think that online learning is going to be the way to go for a little while. So I want to say, from me, Finley, welcome. So we're going to do a little tour of the museum and see what we got and see how it goes. And maybe we can tailor this to learning experiences for young and old. I'm pretty excited about it all. I'm new around here, so it's going to be a learning experience for me, too. I hope you have some fun when we go through the museum and learn together. It's all about opening your eyes, opening your mind. Learn, learn, learn. Follow me. Wow, look over there. Oh, it looks like some kind of dinosaur. Oh, almost looks like a T-Rex. I'm not sure. Hmm, let's go count his fingers. Cause I'm not sure. Let's take a look. One, two, three. Oh, nope, he's not a T-Rex. T-Rex had two fingers. Hmm, maybe this one's like Albertosaur. I wonder where he's from. Hmm, Albertosaur. Huh, maybe Alberta. <laughs> I wonder what else there is. Oh, look over there. There's, there's like a skeleton in a display case. Let's go look. Let's go. <laughs> what? Bones. Bones. Bones, bones, bones. Let's see. Hmm. What? There's teeth and bones. I wonder what it's from. Hmm. Let's follow the line of bones. There's more and more and more and more. Oh my Lord, look at them all. Bones, bones, bones of beasts. I wonder what kind of bones all of these belong to. I'm going to look around. Anybody here? Hello? Anybody? Hmm. Maybe I have to look and see if I can read uh, what they got. Yeah, I'm going to look right over here. And oh, oh, yeah, there it is. Elasmosaur. Elasmosaur, hmm, thin-plated reptile. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, on the wall, look, that looks like an artist drew that on the wall. I wonder, oh, look at that. It looks like a, a snake threaded through a a turtle's body. Ooh. Maybe we should call it a snurtle. Ooh, that'd be funny. <laughs> no, it's not a snurtle. It's an elasmosaur. <gasps> what? What? What am I looking up there? Up there? Oh, look at it up there. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that is big. Oh, he's got big teeth. Oh, he's got a long, long neck. Oh, he's got what? One, two, three, four, four flippers. One, two, three, four, four. And he has a tail. But look, he has ribs on his tummy. I wonder where he got those from. Hmm, probably from his mummy. Hmm, <laughs> ribs on his tummy. That's where the word elasmosaur comes from. 
I wonder what else that tag or on the display says. Maybe it can tell me more about who found it and where they found it. I'm going to read some more and we'll see what it says. Hmm. Elasmosaur. Thin plated reptile. Hmm. It says it's a, a marine reptile. Marine reptile. Hmm. Marine. That means ocean. Reptile. Lizard. So he's a swimming lizard that lived in the ocean. Hmm. Wonder what else. It says. They think it's about 80 million years old. 80 million? Oh, that is a long time ago. What else does it say? Oh, it was found by what? Mike Trask and his daughter Heather. It, it says they were down at the river looking for fossils one day and discovered the bones of a beast. Oh, that is so cool. Wonder what else? Oh, they said it took about 40 volunteers to help dig it up. 40 volunteers. What else? Oh, they say they removed about 12 full gravel truck loads of rock off the site to get to the animal. And they did it all by hand, hammers and chisels. What? Amazing. Let's see what else it says. Oh, really? It says they, oh, Canada Post made a stamp. A stamp with the Elasmus on it. Let's see what it looks like. It's over here. Oh, there it is. That. <laughs> that is pretty cool. A stamp. Comox Valley Elasmosaur. Huh. Let's go look at it some more. Oh, look here. Let's show some other pictures. Oh, let's see what it reads. Oh, that. That says that Mike Trask and his daughter Heather found these bones in the Potmage River in 1988. Huh. That's quite a while ago now. That's 31 years ago. <laughs> according to my little brain calculations. Huh. Oh, there's some of the people that were digging it up. Oh. It says, the guy in the middle, that's Dr. Rolf. Dr. Rolf Ludvigsen. He was the head scientist, that's what it said. Oh, look at that picture. Those are the bones, the real bones in that picture. But they don't look like bones. They look like rocks. Rocks, what? But it says, it took a guy over two years with a little miniature jackhammer to clean it. Zzz, zzz, little baby tiny jackhammer zzz, runs on air. Zzz, kind of like going to the dentist. Zzz, clean, 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 clean. Two years every day. Amazing. But let's look at the real bones again because they're over here. Oh, we're starting at the tail, I can tell, because this is the back end there. The, t the tail bones, more tail bones, more tail bones, flippers. Oh yeah, I'm pretty excited. Oh, what are those? Rocks, what rocks? Oh, you know what? I read that it said, elasmosaurs don't chew their food very well. They swallow. They don't chew. They grab a fish, swallow it, grab a fish, swallow it, grab a fish, swallow it. That fish might not be dead and be wiggling and squiggling and flipping down that really long neck into its belly. Hmm. Then he get a tummy ache. So they say he went to shore and swallowed rocks to help digest his food. That is amazing. More bones. Oop. Rib bones connected to the backbone. The backbone's connected to the... Neck bones, the neck bones connected to the, 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 head bones. <laughs> what? Talking about heads. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Whoa, whoa. 
Wow. This guy has some pretty big... I'm kind of scared. You know, finding out that their favorite food is me. Look at this. This is maybe what he looked like with all of his skin in place. It's a lizard. It's a lizard that lived in the ocean. It's at the Courtney Museum. <laughs>